Hey guys, I'm gonna walk you through the process of how you can process or reformat a phone number for a lead that is submitted through lead pages. Now, if you're collecting leads through lead pages or some other application where uh, the phone number as formatted is a little funky and doesn't match what your CRM needs or your, uh, your SMS marketing platform is needing in terms of sending out follow-up, check out this particular video, what you're going to need to do is I've already got a, a zap somewhat started. I've connected over to a lead pages funnel. I've got some test data submitted through that funnel that we can begin to use for setting up this zap. So I'm going to go here to the test trigger step here in my trigger step of the, the funnel. You can see right here, uh, I've got a phone number, email, and first name that was collected for this particular funnel. Just three pieces of information, but you can see right here, this is how lead pages formats their phone numbers so the next platform that i'd be using for this zap can't format or can't use phone numbers in this format so i need to do a couple of steps here to make some changes now typically what i would do is i would use a format step right after this and then um, extract the phone number and reformat that but even that's not quite what I need to do, what I need to do is I need to split the phone number up. There's a space in there in between 001, which is the country code, and then the rest of the phone number. I'm going to split that up into two different fields and then just use the, the second field for uh, reformatting the phone number. Okay, so if I go ahead and set up a format step, if I click into action event and then I click into numbers, we click into continue here and then transform, and then we're going to select format phone number. And then our input, we're going to use from the previous step from our uh, lead page funnel. Let's click into input here. Then, then let's click into the phone number field here. And then we're going to click into where it says to format. Let's change this for, uh, in this case, what my CRM needs. It needs the no symbols international option. Uh, there's multiple different options in here in terms of formatting for phone numbers. You'll need to try to find out from your third-party software, uh, your CRM or whatever platform you're using for that next step. You need to find out exactly how they want that phone number formatted. In this case, I already know that it's the No Symbols International, so I'm going to use that. So what I would expect now, now that I've set this up, is that after I go ahead and click on continue and then run a test, I would expect my phone number to be reformatted from 001 space 202303 to actually being 1202303 with no space, no leading zeros, but that's not gonna work. So let's go ahead and click on continue. I'll show you exactly what I mean. So if we click on test and review, there we go. We're still left with the same phone number that lead pages gave us. So this is why I'm creating this video is to walk you through that additional step of sometimes you just need to try to use additional steps in your Zap to be able to format the data just the right way for subsequent steps to be able to use that data. So let's go ahead, let's go back in here. We're gonna uh, submit uh, a new step right here in between our trigger step and the action step. So I'm gonna click into this blue arrow here and I'm gonna go into format again. And then action event, I'm gonna go ahead and select this time around, instead of numbers, I'm not gonna be formatting numbers, I'm gonna be splitting text. And to split text, you have to go through the text option. So let's go ahead and click into text, click into continue here, and then transform. Uh, you got a whole bunch of different values or different options that you can use here for transforming the text. What I wanna do is I want to split text because lead pages is always gonna put in a space right after three, uh, three digits as the country code. So it's gonna be three digits, country code, space, and then the rest of the phone number. So knowing that it's gonna always be the same, that's why I'm gonna use split text here. And I'm gonna click into input. We're gonna find the input, which is the, the phone number from the, the funnel itself. So let's click into new form submission and lead pages and try to find our phone number field, which is right there. So let's click there. So it's gonna take that input and it's gonna split it by a separator here. So in this case, you know, if it was split up by a comma or a pipe symbol or a tilde or something else, I could put that in here into the separator field, but it's going to be a space. If I just put in space from my keyboard, can't see anything, of course, but if I just put in a space in there, that's not sufficient. Uh, any other key would work, but uh, Zapier, as you can see right here, it says character or word, se word separator to split the text on. Default is space. What they're looking for for space is actually that string of characters right there. So I'm gonna put that in here. And if you get stuck, if you're not quite sure exactly what you need to put in here, click on this helpful link right here and that's gonna help you point you in the right direction of what you need to use for splitting this out. 
Typically, though, it's probably going to be a comma or a space. Okay, so segment index. This is where I'm going to change how I want the data to be split up. So in this case, I want two different rows. I want the first row to be the country code and the second row to be the phone number. We're actually only going to use uh, the phone number here. So I'm going to go ahead and click onto all as separate fields and then click continue. And then when I test this out, I'm going to have two different items. So there's going to be item one, item two, test and review. So there we go. Item one is our country code. Item two is our phone number. We're good. Now let's go on to the next step. This next step is the one that we had first started on where I showed you that it was going to fail for trying to convert lead pages phone number into exactly what I needed for my CRM. Now I'm going to go into this third step and make one minor adjustment. I'm going to use the value from here to now properly format our phone number. So let's go ahead and click in here to make this work. So click into setup action and our input, we're going to change that input. It's no longer going to be that original input from lead pages. I'm going to use that new value that we just formatted in the second step here. And it's going to be item output number two. So now you can see it no longer has that uh, country code and then space leading uh, in front of the phone number. So now we're going to uh, format this. I'm going to change, or I'm going to keep this uh, the same as no symbols international, keep this as US, and then hit continue. And then now once I do a test trigger on this, or a test action step on this, it should now display 1, 202, 303, 1234, which is exactly what my CRM needs. It can't use that 001 space and then 202, 303, 1234 formatting of the phone number. So let's go ahead and click and continue here. Test and review. And there we go. So now we have our phone number properly formatted. And then I could click into this plus symbol to go ahead and add in any additional steps that I wanted to, including connecting this over to the CRM to set up my follow-up automation. All right, guys, I hope this helped you out in setting up your automation of your leads in terms of capturing it from a funnel and sending it off to a third-party platform.